It's never easy to quit your job. You have to have the awkward conversation, you gotta do the exit interview, all that stuff. But now there's a startup in Japan that is offering to quit your job for you <laughs> for the price of just $144. So uh, the startup is called Exit. And before we get into how it works, let's just talk about why in Japan this might be a thing. Cuz the work culture there is actually even more toxic and all encompassing than in the United States, which honestly, I think we work each other to the bone. Uh, corporations work us to the bone, but Japan has long been known for a punishing work culture that encourages both long hours, lengthy service. And even there's a term Kuroshi was coined in 1970s to describe death from overwork. And it is officially recognized as the cause of hundreds of deaths from cardiovascular disease and suicide every year. That's according to Al Jazeera. Last year, a PwC survey of almost 20,000 workers in the Asia Pacific region found that fewer than one in three Japanese employees were satisfied with their jobs. One in five respondents across the region said they plan to switch to a new employer. Um, now, the co-founder of this app or this startup uh, exit is named uh, Toshiyuki Nino, um, who says that actually quitting is the really tough part, right? So uh, they say, when you try to quit, they give you a guilt trip. They try to make you ashamed and guilty and uh, that you wanna quit your job in less than three years. And I had a very difficult time, meaning like, why didn't you stay on in a miserable job? Um, it seems like if you quit, it's like a sin. It's like you made some sort of bad mistake. Um, so people don't usually tell their company the true reason they wanna quit. Like for example, they didn't like the boss. So that's why he created this, uh, this app exit, he says it helps 10,000 people quit their jobs every year. Nino said the two most common reasons people enlisted his company were that they were afraid of their boss and didn't feel confident confronting them to tell them they wanted to leave or they felt guilty about walking away from their employer. So all you do is you hire them, they do it for you. I have to say before I kick it to you guys, Initially, I was like, why? I love that moment of quitting, that, that's great. Tell them to their face, who cares? But if you really wanna be honest and maybe you kinda want like the recommendation letter later or you want you know something, maybe someone else to kinda like break the fall, someone else who can, you know, uh, you can outsource to, that might be better. Especially if also if you're not in good terms with that boss. But anyway, would you use this? Yeah, no. Would you have used this? <laughs> <laughs> kind of. So let me. I'll explain. So look, I I think the super interesting part of the story is the difference in culture and the difference in what is considered moral and immoral. So we'll come back to that in a second. Uh, but my personal experience is I, I quit a job that I didn't like. It was at a prosecutor's office. It was just, I was just an intern, but uh, but I was supposed to stay an extra month. Uh, I pretended to uh, get into the law review, which I did not, uh, to leave early. <laughs> Because it's awkward coming into your boss and saying, I don't like you, I think you're a bad person. And that's why I'd like yeah. to leave, right? And so um, so I get it. Uh, on the other hand, it, as an employer, if someone comes in and says, uh, I wanna quit, I go, yes. Okay, now why? Because if they don't wanna be here, why would you want them here? That doesn't make any sense at all. No, I don't want you to quit, I want you to stay miserable and do bad work here. <laughs> I don't get it, right? And then my the other thing that I relate to is Kuroshi, uh, which my wife has said on a number of occasions that I might one day suffer from. Uh, no, two, two, no. two. <laughs> okay, but but I want to get back to the culture in a second. But uh, Benny, what do you think? Yeah, so I have a nuclear take here, right? And it's gaslight, gatekeep, girl boss. Ghost your employer, right? Like straight up, if you're afraid to quit, just like don't show up. I don't know, like yeah. you don't have like a moral obligation to show up to your job unless you will have worked like a particular set of jobs or whatever. You might have a moral obligation, but like this is capitalism, baby, right? <laughs> your employer is just profiting off of your labor. They are making money off of what you do. They should be begging you to work for them because you make them money. That's how this whole system works. So yeah, I don't know. The harder employers have to work to retain their employees, the better work is going to be for everybody. So if you don't want to tell your boss why you're quitting and you just stop showing up, that if a lot of people do that puts employers in a position where they're scratching their heads. They're calling their former employees, begging them to give them advice about how to have a better workplace, right? Like that is fundamentally how you actually empower other workers. And it can be yeah. intimidating to do that, but ultimately like, 
Like that forces employers to do what they need to do to actually retain employers, employees, which usually means a better workplace environment, better wages, better benefits, things like that, that people actually enjoy. So yeah, I don't know, why even tell them you're quitting it all? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I I have a lot of thoughts on that. I mean, I do think a lot of this is labor related, right? If we had more robust unions, if we had um, the ability to negotiate conditions, like when do we ever say, hey, I'm thinking of leaving unless X, Y, and Z change? Like rarely in any job. I don't care whether it's a white collar job, a desk job, or whether it's you know like a you know minimum wage job. I feel like that you rarely get that opportunity to you know sort of give an ultimatum to your boss. But for me personally, I just the way that I am. I cannot quiet quit so called or basically slack. I, I love when people slack. I love when people watch TYT and they're on Twitch or on YouTube and they're like, I'm at my job right now, but I'm just watching you guys. It, nothing makes me happier than that because I love that people are like taking their boss's time and watching some great content and you know the news. But for me, if I'm at a job, I go full throttle. And if I'm not in it, it's like a relationship. I'm just like, I need to get out. Like I need to get out now. I don't want to string you along. I don't want to string me along. Let's just let's just end it. Let's $144 <laughs> and this service will quit for me. Yeah, so look, I wouldn't go as far as Benny, of course. Um but <laughs> but I think that Benny makes a good point that uh like if a whole bunch of people quit here at TYT, I would definitely go, "Hey, what's going on? Are we doing something wrong?" So that's that's right. A perfectly fine point for sure. Quiet quitting, I think, is a completely different thing. And I'm, uh, but Benny, you weren't saying quiet quitting. You were just saying quitting as in not coming in. Am I? Do I have that right? Yeah, yeah. Just like stop showing up, basically. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> like that's, the Costanza. <laughs> yeah. I get you. No, he he actually quit. Yeah. So that that that's fine. Like if you're quitting, you're quitting. Who cares how you do it? I don't really care. It's like. It's like the uh, how you break up a relationship. Oh, just, he did it on a post-it note. So what? Like it does. Like I know people get emotional about that, but the bottom line is you're actually hurt that you're you're breaking up. It, it's it's not how they did it or etc. So if you're an employee and you just don't want to show up, and then that means basically you've resigned. So what? Fine. Okay. The quiet quitting is saying, nah, that I I got no uh, tolerance for because that's saying. I'm not going to do as much work here, and I'm going to make other people that work here do more work. No, right. no, 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 no. I'm not going to have right. that. Okay. No, so, that that's true. Yeah, and so okay. Now onto the culture, though. This is what's so interesting to me. So in Japanese culture, it is like considered immoral. Immoral to quit your job. Well, what if you don't like it? Well, why is it immoral? What what if it's not the right job for you? You're better off somewhere else, and the company's better off somewhere else. Immoral, and I see to me that's a that's so interesting that our very concept of morality is so malleable and flexible, and that two different cultures that is that are in a lot of ways related, like America and Japan, of course, share a lot of culture, but are still so different that it's considered like a sin or immoral to quit a job that you don't like and that you think yeah. is not good for you. That blows my mind. But Jenk, I have a question. So, I because I want to read the employer's perspective from this particular company and their service, and ask you what you would do if a company quit on behalf of an employee. But so, from their perspective, um, this is a uh, their name is Koji Takahashi, who was a manager at the engineering company in Tokyo, was so, so taken aback when he received the call from an agency informing him that a junior employee had quit a few days on the job that he visited the employee's parents. To confirm the news, which feels like a line crossed, but I don't know. <laughs> um, I told the employee's parents, this is Takahashi, that I would accept the resignation as he wished, but would like him to contact me first to confirm his safety. I thought that if someone can't cannot resign without using this kind of surface service, it is their own loss, and that they are an unfortunate personality who sees work as nothing more than a means to get money. Mm, so. Kind of a lot of shame speaking to like the cultural issue. Like Jank was talking about, like you visited their parents. Now you're like, okay, you can quit, but wow, um, someone who quits via a service like this for shame. You are of weak personality. Like, I don't know. I feel like these people, like, is every employer in Japan just like an extra set of parents? Yeah, no, no, that's crazy talk. 
So look, I wouldn't like it if someone uses service. I wouldn't care because they're quitting. It, the, the, the bottom line is sure. not that big a deal. But if you like, usually I I do pretty good references for people who worked here. And so, but if somebody's like, yeah, I had some, you know, I sent you an emoji to quit, or whatever it was, right? <laughs> I'm like, oh well, okay. I, I guess you don't want anything to do with us. God bless, no problem. But I, obviously, I'll take that into account. Um, but. The idea that I would go see someone's parents because they quit <laughs> working here, like it's impossible to describe how impossible that scenario is. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that because it's super creepy. It would never occur to me. And uh, ain't nobody got time to check in on people's parents <laughs> that already quit the company. Are you crazy? But that's my point about how. Fascinating it is that their culture and their concept of morality is so different than ours. Yeah. But if it's preventing people from committing suicide, I mean, that's it's awful, right? Like, so it's like, I guess this is one of the reasons. So it they have a lot of clients and they're only growing. So um, I think Japan, even the young folks in Japan know they need to pump the brakes and on their work culture. And break with the uh, like the older generations that are grinding them to the to the bone. So if this is a way to do it, I support it. I love it. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, Jr. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.